All right, let's take a look at y equals tangent of 2 theta. So for this one, um, we have not shifted it left or right. So our center point is still going to start at 0, 0. Um, our period we have changed. Let's do this one in degrees. So normally our period for tangent is 180, but we need to divide it by this number in front of the x or the theta. So our period here is going to be 90 degrees. We'll get to the asymptotes in a minute. So our center point is 0, 0, and our next center point is going to happen 90 degrees away. So here it is. 90 degrees and negative 90 degrees, which means our asymptote is going to happen directly in between those. So we have asymptotes at negative 45 and at 45. Um, we could do some more if you wanted. Um, our next center point is going to be at uh, 180, and so we'll have an asymptote in between those at 135 negative 135, and those asymptotes are going to keep going in both directions, okay? And then from here, we're just going to draw our seaweed, seaweed up, there it is, and that's what your tangent graph looks like. All right, let's check out this last one. Uh, for this one, we have a horizontal shift. So instead of our center point being at 0, 0, we have moved it right pi over 2. So our center point is going to be pi over 2, 0, okay? So when we do this, we are going to move this right pi over 2, and there's our first center point. Um, the period, we have not changed the period. So I remember the period is 180 degrees, which is pi. We don't have anything that we have to divide it by. So that means our next center point is going to happen pi away from this. So pi in this direction is 3 pi over 2. And pi in this direction is negative pi over 2. And let's go ahead and do one more just because negative 3 pi over 2. So those are all of our center points. And our asymptotes are going to happen in between all of these. So it looks like we have asymptote at 0 and pi and negative pi, and they keep going in both directions. And then we'll just get our seaweed, seaweed up. Okay, so those are the basics on tangent graphs. Um, like I said, we don't deal with these as much. Um, you'll notice we don't get quite as complicated transformations with these because they're just not as useful as the sine and cosine ones.